Welcome to a video that is intended to put you at ease. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> because when you start out on an RV trip, and maybe it is your first RV trip, yeah. Maybe it's your longest RV trip. Maybe it's going to be your best RV trip. I think that's always the next RV trip. <laughs> the next trip is the best, the best RV one. trip. There's a lot of things that we tend to, it's only natural, to worry about and to think about and to wonder about the unknowns. Yes. And we wanted to do a episode, a video, on some things that we've learned over the past seven years of mm -hmm. travel mm -hmm. uh, to put you at ease to like just things that you might, the things you were not going to have to worry about. And by the way, uh, if you've been following KYD week to week, this is episode 365. Woo! <laughs> now there's been there's been more videos on the channel, but in terms of numbered episodes, that's 365. So one could, in theory, watch KYD every single day for an entire year. <laughs> so, so that's a milestone for us. And <laughs> I don't know if you need our voice. No, I don't think much. so. Don't do that. <laughs> but if you do, if you're new here and you and you decide to do that. Um, Use the playlist. This yes. is something I've been meaning to just share with the community for a long time. If you're new here, the best way to watch all the videos per season in order is through our playlist. And if you're ever wondering, hey, were you guys ever at this particular location because I was looking for an episode with what you did? If you go to keepyourdaydream.com slash map, mm -hmm. it will bring you to a page where there is a little, a little pin in the location where the episode is. Mm -hmm. So you can go to the state you want, click the pin, and the episode will be right there. So that's a great way to find videos. The I mean, love it. The meaning to tell you all that. Awesome. Okay, so we have this going on. We want to share with you um, this video to put you at ease. And then we have an update at the end. So for those that uh, know, uh, that follow KYD, you know that we should be on the road. Yeah. We know that you want us on the road. <laughs> and you should know that we want to be on the road. So we're all on the same page. <laughs> yes, we want to be making travel videos, especially right now, but we are not because we have to finish a remodel that is a kind of off off the rails. It's off the tracks a yeah. little bit. And so um, uh, if you're interested, I'll share with you a little update in the bungalow at the end of the video. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I even I even ask for a favor, uh, which I've never done. And then uh, and then we have some family update news. So we have a lot going on. But Huge. let's let's first start with things that you don't need to worry about. Okay, first one, this is a big one. And I think everybody naturally will fall into this trap. And that is needing to have everything before you go. Okay, we fell into the trap. We had <laughs> Amazon boxes like stacked a mile high. It was like Christmas. And so, um, but what we ended up doing was kind of suffocating our RV because mm -hmm. as you know, an RV has limited space. And we were like, we need this, we need that. It was like we were going on some kind of sailing adventure. I think we thought that like we were not going to be able to get anything after we left. Like, <laughs> like we're not going to be able to ship anything. There aren't going to be any stores. Like we had, we, there was just this feeling of making sure we had everything. One thing is for certain, I know I'm not forgetting anything. <laughs> now, although you need the essentials, you need mm -hmm. the sewer hose and the freshwater hose and the chocks if you have a towable RV, you need all of the gear. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the chairs and the tables and the fire pits and all the stuff and like we've got lights and it's fun, mm -hmm. but our recommendation is to have the need and then decide what you want. Yes. Because it'll be a lot more satisfying. It will. And the other thing is, if you like our RVing, you're going to end up doing this as a lifelong thing. Mm -hmm. I know that's kind of a big thing to say, but I think that we're going to have an RV for the rest mm -hmm. of our life. I love traveling mm -hmm. this way. I love being with our dog and have beds for our family and making our own food. So something that I keep in mind is that, okay, I might need something. I'll write it down on a list and then I can have it shipped to where we're going. So you, that might be a big question. Can I have things sent to where I'm going? And most RV parks are totally comfortable with that, but you'll mm -hmm. want to check. Another thing is, um, shopping local mm. so when you're in a new town one of my favorite things to do is check out where are the farmers markets what's the craft market it's not necessarily that i'm going to buy something maybe i'll just go to the farmers market mm -hmm. and get lunch or have a drink but i love seeing the people that show up i love um seeing all the different vendors and then if i have a need or i'll just go there with a dinner menu not like a mm -hmm. whole shopping menu but just hey let's eat something local it's super fun and you know they're oh the other thing i wanted to mention sorry mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep going. The other thing I wanted to mention is to have like Walmart, Target, um, any of those kinds, CVS, Walgreens, have those apps on your phone because what I love doing is making a running list like on Walmart and um, just for the bare necessities and then I'll find the location of where we're going and I'll set up a time because it's totally free. Mm -hmm. Then I don't even have to go in the store and then I don't overspend or mm -hmm. overbuy and, um, and then I just cruise into the spot. They throw the stuff in my car. 
or the truck and then I go back to the RV so that's something to think about too having those apps ready and available on your phone wow. so helpful so amazing anyway. all the stuff that happens that I don't even know about <laughs> okay so number two uh, needing to have a reservation every night this is something that is fun I think for a lot of people if you're training planning a, a great big trip it's actually fun to be coordinated and planned mm -hmm. but sometimes that could work to your disadvantage if you have a mechanical issue mm -hmm. or something happens where you get delayed then the domino effect of those reservations so yeah. what we do is we book the big destinations on the big weekends mm -hmm. in advance and then we kind of leave some gaps with the intention of harvest hosting moving up our schedule if we need slowing down our schedule if we need mm -hmm. and so our go-to is um rv parks and popular campground state parks on the weekends during the summer we book those that puts in that puts us in the area we need to be when we need to be there mm -hmm. and then um, we use harvest host is probably our first go-to our number one backup that's our number one uh if if not even our number one destination right because there's really cool destinations yeah. in there. and then our number two recently last season was cracker barrel loving so cracker barrel great or on the way because then there's like dinner and or breakfast built in and then we'll go to a truck stop and then when we're really desperate we'll go to a walmart and um I mean, I'm not throwing shade on Walmart. It's just sometimes at three in the morning, I hear like cars with thumping music and I just I just don't sleep as well knowing there's activity around me yeah. than at a Cracker Barrel or ideally a Harvest House. Okay, one caveat. If you're going on less than a week trip, make your reservations. Yeah, yeah. This is if you're going out for the summer or you're going out for a month and you're like, oh my goodness, I have to have 20 to 60 days planned no you don't yeah so but just like mark said though put those big rocks in first before you throw in the sand mm -hmm. because um then you will be like where you want to be and they'll be like sorry we don't have space yeah, yeah. so that will happen at the hot spots so you want to make sure you have those reservations okay now number three this one's big you probably if you've ever been to the united kingdom and you you ride the train what do they say when you get on the train mind the gap mind the gap mm -hmm. so our recommendation is mind the dip yes you're gonna remember the beginning of your trip. You're gonna remember the end of your trip. Mm -hmm. Your stories are gonna come from the peaks and the dip yes. in the middle, right? Yeah. There's gonna be some pretty epic things that are gonna happen and there's inevitably going to be a dip or two. This is psychological knowledge. This yes. is confirmed by doctors <laughs> and um, that our brains can only remember certain things. Mm -hmm. So like Mark said, the beginning, the end, and whatever that emotional peak is, or dip yeah. so because that's where our brain resides so just know that these things are going to happen and they're going to be your memories mm -hmm. so lean into them yeah. if they're the exciting things lean into them of course that's easy and if it's the dip lean into it and mm -hmm. just help each other get through it because that the feeling that you're going to create between like what do you need how can i help I, this is the person I called where are we next you know mm -hmm. those are the feelings that you're gonna remember and it can actually strengthen your relationship it can it could improve so. the trip in many ways which sounds kind of odd the reason that we like the term mind the dip so much is because when something doesn't go to plan there is something that you can call it you say okay we're in a dip we, yes. we acknowledge that we're in a dip and now we all need to collectively figure out how we're gonna get out of this dip. yes if you don't have something to call it what can happen is you're on the trip and the weather comes in or a mechanical issue or something doesn't go to plan it's very natural to think well we our trip is ruined or maybe i'm not good at this yes. because you are using heavy equipment mm -hmm. and maybe it's like you're new at this you're you're fine yeah. okay you're totally fine it and it happens to everybody and it happened to us and it just it just happens so just mind the dip all right yeah. number four um are you all going to get along in that small space <laughs> probably stepped in my pee. No, it's Don't. water. Calm down. Don't. Don't be rude. She's not being disgusting. Jeez, oh man. Yesterday you were walking and sneezed all over me because you didn't cover your mouth. Literally, I got showered in his germs. Mom, I need a wipe. If you move your life into a tiny space, what will end up happening is things will bubble to the surface quicker and you'll have to get through them faster because there's no sweeping things under the rug. There's no going into a different room. It's a very it's just, small rug. Yeah. Small rug. Yes. It doesn't hold as much underneath. But remember, this is not about being in a tiny space. This tiny space is supposed to bring you to a cool place. Yes. So you're going to be going outside and eating on a picnic bench or going to a museum or 
hiking a mountain. So um, the only advice that I have is including as many suggestions from the crew that you're bringing mm. as possible because we're all looking forward to something. And sometimes one person's thing that they're excited about is not another person's. Mm. But then they have they know that they're going to be doing what they want or they just did what they want. And so um, including like if your kids are just like, I. Carson loved rocks like <laughs> it was so random like it was really cool but it just wasn't what I expected Carson to be into so like we would go to a new location and he'd be like I want to go in that rock store and I'm like, are you for real right now <laughs> and so anyway and we did and then he'd like have his bag of rocks and he'd be happy and so like those little things that probably cost us eight dollars and I don't know an hour of time created a memory for him and then he was comfortable listening to whatever victoria wanted to do or i wanted to do or you or trish Caleb. is very good at identifying what everybody wants to get out of a trip and then making sure that everybody is kind of meeting those expectations i will tell you rocks don't cut it for carson anymore <laughs> Okay, I wish, no. I wish they did. I wish rocks would cut it for everybody, but they don't. They don't. And that's the other thing. <laughs> um, comparing is the is the is putting out any amount of joy. And so like if you compare yourself or your RV trips to other people, that's just like the end of your joy. So um, I say this because some people have little kids and so they can go out into the middle of nowhere and boondock <laughs> and their kids can make little sand castles and be happy. Or um, you might have teenagers and your teenagers want like life to find <laughs> Define things they want to jump off a bridge and bungee jump they want to go cliff jump they want to or maybe you're um, an empty nester couple and you want to go harvest host and have wine and go walk back to your trailer and play jazz music I don't know <laughs> you know it's just like everybody has something different that they want to do so just know that your trip is going to look different than someone else's trip you could go to the same location mm -hmm. and have a completely different experience so be okay with that yeah, that's all. That's great. Okay, the fifth one. This is one that um, I suffered from, and so this this might help you. And that is needing to set up everything, every time, at every location, <laughs> at every stop. I mean, when we were new, and you know what? That's not that's very natural to well, new viewers. Well, that's super fun because that's the fun part. You're yeah. here. We're setting up, which is perfect if you're going to one location on a big weekend trip. You're going to set up. It's very natural when you're going on a longer trip then to pull into the RV park and just move into that routine of setting up. And then there are times where we're only there for like three or four days and we just didn't use the grill or it was too hot or, or, or too many bugs to use the solo stove and we didn't really use the table and I'm setting things up and I'm like, we didn't even sit out here one time because yeah. of just the way that the trip unfolded. And so I have learned over time uh, when Trish needs to grill, I go grab the grill. When we're gonna have a fire, I go grab the solo stove. When we need a table, I go grab the table. I just wanna kind of streamline my setup process. Um, like for instance, I'll give you an example. If we're gonna be somewhere inside two or three days, I'm probably not gonna set up the sewer hose until I need to, because I really want the tanks to fill up anyway. And so if we're gonna be there for two days and there weren't really a lot of showers, I'll just go do it at the next time. I don't need to go take time to like touch the, the sewer hose. Mm -hmm. And if I do need to do it, I'll bring it out at the end touch it once and put it away. So I'm always looking for ways just to optimize so I don't feel like RVing is a lot of work. Let's have a stinky slinky conversation real quick because I okay. don't think that that's on our list. No. And I think it's a, like a huge concern for new people. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about it because I think you're an expert and I've done it. Not something I ever thought I'd be an expert <laughs> at. <laughs> when you guys did your bike ride from Michigan to Florida, which was an epic experience mm -hmm. for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. um, I was in charge of the Sticky Slinky, okay? Uh, you were in charge of everything. Thank you, yes, I was. And it was a lot of fun mm -hmm. because I was like, oh wow, I can actually do this. Because mm -hmm. when you have a team, you rely on each other and you don't really know mm -hmm. what you're capable of. You just yeah. rely on your partner. So um, anyway, the Stinky Slinky is not that big a deal. So you'll probably have a poopsie, which means everything will go mm -hmm. awry once in your experience. But most of the time, it's not that big a deal. It's not that dirty. You have your gloves. You'll get into a rhythm mm -hmm. and you'll be surprised at how easy it is. You're like, oh, I'm done. Yeah, and then is. you close it back up. You put it in your thing. Boop, 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 and it's it's just really not that big a deal. I just know that a lot of people avoid using their bathroom in their rig altogether mm -hmm. because they don't even want to deal with it. So yeah. I just want to put you at ease if that might be something you're thinking about. Okay, we also have, so for those that follow KYD week to week, first of all, thank you. Thank you for watching and being here yes. each week. Um, 
We have kind of some family news too. Trish is flying to Arizona tomorrow. I'm gonna to drop her off at the airport, and so Trish will fill you in. We'll, we'll we'll share some family news on the way to the airport. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna pop into the bungalow, and I'm gonna do my favorite activity in the morning. So come with me in there uh, <laughs> to uh, to share with you kind of what's going on there and why we are here and not out on the road, which is where we want to be, yes. and which is where I think you want us to be. All right, quick update on the bungalow. Sorry for the audio. I'm sure it's very echoey. I'm gonna go around and do my favorite activity, which is turn on the lights. And if you've ever lived without lights or flooring, here, I'll turn on that chandelier. Oh, isn't that good? This is Trisha's favorite room here. I'm gonna turn on this light. Oh wait, that's turn on that light. I, I mean, tell you, if you ever live without lights and then you get lights, it's like magic, it really is. But there's a, one big glaring problem. You can see there's a lot of uh, progress with the electricity and the drywall and paint, but um, you probably notice the lack of windows. And if anybody, if anybody has any inkling of the sequence of events when it comes to construction, you know that that is a pretty major problem. And uh, we decided to do it anyway because we just had to keep things moving because we want to get on the road and rainy season is coming. <sighs> So I've kind of assumed the role of GC. We've hired our own framers, thanks to Randy. He introduced us to uh, framers that uh, did our front porch and roof. Um, he also introduced us to Alex, who came in here and did a phenomenal job painting. The KYD Insiders have absolutely come in clutch. I can't even believe uh, Randy came out here to measure. He, he's the general manager of Independent Glass and Mirror, and he came out here to measure the shower. Brandon is a KYD Insider. He's doing the tile in this room right here. I actually is doing all the tile and Scott, who is an insider and an electrician who we met at the meetup, he's offered to come and help with the electric, which is so we're so grateful for because uh, my builder's electrician just decided not to show up anymore. Um, but after I started finding out all the little things that were wrong and things I needed to improve and things that didn't meet code, I actually think this worked out a lot better. All right. What time is it? We don't even know. We don't Who even cares? know. We got here at nine. We're having Scott. such fun. <laughs> Who cares? It's like all the outlets, single day, all the outlets, pretty much all the switches. 90% of the switches. Yes. And then the dimmer lights in the bathroom, or not key. the dimmer lights, the reset Just lights. Key, because we need that for Monday for mm, the tile guy. Yeah. Brandon, another insider, by the way. And then Steve is also an insider, and he, he and I are, uh, well, he's working on the laundry doors. Uh, which I cannot wait to show you. And then Bill's coming down from Michigan. He lands today at noon. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> I've got like eight or ten days of doing this to be even with you. Why? Why? What did I do? You sweat on that deck and you're out in the rain. Remember the day we worked yeah. in the rain on the yeah. deck? I mean, you said it might rain here today, and I was kind of hoping it would because <laughs> then I could knock the rain day out or today. I'd like to knock uh, the rain day out on the first you day. Know, no one ever really saw me work on your deck. Oh, wow. Looks great, it's huh? Fabulous. I don't even know how this happened. I don't even know how he's there. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of funny. Woo! Wow. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you, I might let you win Euchre a couple of times this summer. <laughs> it's been kind of an emotional roller coaster. We are enjoying the process, but uh, we aren't sharing much of it because it's been, it's been a bit stressful, I think, because our builders, um, Kind of neglected the job in many well in, in every way and so now we're just trying to fill in the gaps and get it wrapped up so that we can hit the road a favor the only thing standing in between us and nova scotia right now are those windows and uh, they're pgt windows and if anybody has any contacts at pgt um, we may need a little bit of help because my biggest fear is that if those if those don't come in time then Trish is going to end up pulling that airstream to Canada and I have to go up and meet her and I'd really like to avoid all that drama. So anyway, if anybody knows anyone at PGT, that would be helpful. Um, we've never really asked for a favor like this from the community, but I know that the community is so amazing um, that there's a potential that maybe we can get some help on this. But um, we're excited to share with you the big picture. Um, it's coming along. Hardwood floors are going to get wrapped up today. We're getting there, but just a little bit more to go. Arizona for a few days. 
Victoria's engaged! <laughs> Woohoo! It's our first of three. Yeah, yeah. You know this will happen again, but this, this happens. Is our, this is our first, <laughs> and she's a girl. So, yeah. you know, that means that I get to be part of things. <laughs> so, anyway, so yes, that's what we're doing. I, well, news. that's what I'm doing. It is kind of fun, though. I will say, when we started the channel seven years ago, um, there are a lot of people that have been part of our family and seen the kids literally grow up. Yes. And Carson graduate. That was really cool mm -hmm. at Culver. And now in August, Caleb's going to be going to school. And then um, next, I guess in the spring of next year, then Tori's going to be getting married. Yes. And it's kind of fun to share these milestones as the family changes. It's yeah. neat. Yeah. We would have never thought about any of that. <laughs> No, so now I'm gonna jump on a plane and I'm gonna go see Victoria. So uh, before, before we leave town, so we only have maybe two or three more episodes kind of in the, I don't wanna say talking head category, but like a lot of people have been asking for like the solar review, so I wanna do that. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple how-to stuff that we wanted to cover and then we want, and then we wanna do a bungalow, a real bungalow update in terms of like really showing you like how what, it came together. How it came together. And then, uh, and then we're really gonna hit the road, finally. And although it seems like it's taking a long time, because it has, because we've been delayed due to life events in the bungalow, uh, it's still kind of cold in Nova Scotia. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and so, we're, and knowing Trish, we're just gonna we're gonna blitz up there. We're gonna beeline. We're gonna just go straight to Montreal, Zoom. and then Quebec City and over. And Trish has a whole thing planned, and and it's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's it. Will you get some footage out there? I will do my best. <laughs> I'm not as good as Mark. Okay. That's okay. It. I'm gonna Bye. miss you. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Goodbye. I made it! Look who it is! We're gonna talk about some wedding stuff because it's so exciting. Woo! Oh yeah, flash that ring. Woo, baby! Okay, here we go. <laughs>